Do you remember that time when Bob Beast went viral with that sex step which they did with uh, Ruth? This is Ruth, the lady whom they they were doing the antago kong kong together. So, um, this year, Mutale Mwanza had to raise the same issue concerning Ruth, and she said, Ruth looks attractive whenever she's naked. And a lot of us Zambians, we didn't know that this is this is uh, the issue or this this is the same Ruth who, who was involved in that tape. So a lot of people they are talking about it. They are talking about it. They are also talking about Mtale Mwanza. And uh, uh, as for her, she went live on social media. She started crying after Mtale Mwanza said that she looks attractive whenever she's naked. Yesterday, Mr. Simon Mwewalen did say something concerning her. Uh, and he said, some of the words he said that uh, she's looking back and sh she's trying to move on, meaning she's trying to forget uh, whatever was happening whatever happened and uh, whatsoever. Wow, Bob Beast has already invented himself, forget about the story. So he did talk about quite some good some good things and few things. Uh, but, you know, the time she was crying, she did not disclose why she was crying. Social media platforms said that she's crying because Mtaramanza said that she looks attractive whenever she's naked. Uh, <laughs> ah, these one of I uh, let me say she was too disrespecting, cause you cannot say that to your fellow woman. Maybe if you if you've been seeing her like her nakedness, ah, uh, I don't think if it's good. But you know what? She did not respond to Mutale Mwanza with those kind of harsh words to her, but she's here talking shits about Mr. Mwewa. Just him trying to reflect, trying to, to remind people, trying to tell people what really happened. She's talking about the same thing. As if, let me say, she brassed him. She went too far where she started even disrespecting Mr. Mwewa. Now, this fight... <laughs> Hey guys, okay guys, let me let me let me not talk too much. Listen to this, watch this video. Please let me know your thoughts. Please kindly follow me on Facebook, follow me on uh, YouTube. You can also follow me on uh, also you can also follow me on uh, TikTok. Uh, the names are Timothy Hara. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, please. I didn't want to come back here. I really didn't want to come back here because as you guys saw from me answering my calls on the previous live, live I did, I have quite the number of things to attend to, which Mr. Simon took upon himself to say I was being rude to my audience by answering my phone. I have work to do, okay? I have other stuff that I do. I'm not going to stop answering my phone just because I'm addressing someone as insignificant to me as you are by the way mr simon and since you said oh yeah she she came on the live she didn't even make any points make any what i'm just from watching your live video right now and guess what i made i actually jotted down some points so that you can see that you're not the only one who can write down points to come here on live and talk and i just first of all i don't even know what to start with here because i'm actually tired of this whole situation i don't want this to be a back and forth okay i don't want to have a back and forth with you but i'm gonna tell you the thing you said about me deflecting on my previous live and skirting around the issue that is very false okay if anything you are the one who was deflecting and skirting around the issue at hand here the issue at hand being why are you trying to tell me how to act why are you telling why are you telling me how to act and react to certain things you're not my father 
you're not my husband you're not my boyfriend I'm, i will, that will never be the case why are you so concerned about how i behave who are you to me and that's why i called you a misogynist because misogynists are the kind of people who take it upon themselves to try and control how women act you are nobody to me i don't know you i've never even met you a single day in my life but you're so concerned with how i speak and how i react to things that you are taking your whole 53 year old self to sit down in front of a mic with your little headphones to talk about are you not embarrassed you're literally old enough to be my father like and I, i'm actually so so glad that i was never born to a man like you because i would be so embarrassed to have a father like you i would be so embarrassed to have a father like you and speaking of fathers keep my father's name out of your mouth the audacity of you to come and open your dirty mouth to mention my father's name that is so appalling okay you will address me as ruth ronnie that's my artist name that's the name i go i go by and in all of the issues that have happened i was coming here as ruth ronnie what gives you the right to mention my father's name what gives you the right to try and control me who are you you're even lucky i was very diplomatic in my other life i was very very diplomatic and i tried my best to be respectful towards you okay I tried my best to be very dis to be very respectful towards you even though you insulted me and called me a chibolia thug by the way that's that's an insult for someone who is preaching about oh don't insult insults are, are just not harsh words even the things you said about me those are insults for someone who claims to be as smart as you are you should know that okay you should know that and you're you are lucky I was very diplomatic in my previous life even though I would have gone in on you I would have gone in on you that's all I'm saying and don't I think you're trying to abuse the fact that you're older than me and you expect me to just respect you out of nowhere but respect the respect is earned okay you can't expect someone to respect you when you're disrespecting them age has nothing to do with respect carry yourself a certain way and people will actually respect you anyway let's get to the points that you said i should jot down when i want to talk number one me saying your your content is a form of harassment is completely true because i'm not talking about the vlogging aspect of your content vlogging is a thing i'm a vlogger i'm probably the biggest vlogger in the country right now follow me on tiktok if you don't know what i'm talking and i'm sure you follow me on tiktok because i've seen you watching my live videos by the way anyways you can't tell me what vlogging is i know what vlogging is okay i make my i make part of my living from <laughs> see now the copper belt is coming through i make part of my living from vlogging okay you can't tell me what vlogging is it's not even making sense like oh in future you will see what i'm talking about is how you do your vlogs you harass women in your vlogs we've seen the vlogs walking up to women hey if you're me how in the world is the one or another girl please na papa na papa you're embarrassing yourself just stop it stop okay telling me what vlogging is when i'm like <laughs> let me not bring my my brand affiliations and the things i've achieved from my vlogs here because that's not the issue here but the main issue is i don't know why i'm very concerned about what i do and the fact that you came to say no the issue is that she came on live and she didn't explain why she was crying it's none of your business it's none of your business you can't tell me what to do i came on live express myself the people who genuinely cared about me the people who genuinely support me and my content they showed their concern and sent me their best wishes and that was enough the people who are pushing to know are the ones who are trying to find the drama the tea they want something to talk about and i'm not going to give them that okay i am not going to give them that so you can keep tossing and turning in your bed wondering why i was crying 
and you'll never get it you'll never get it from me okay and anyway let me read my further points since you want me to read the points hmm some of these things are not even important anymore because i'm i'm really just i'm really over this whole back and forth with you because this is it's very pointless and i could see first of all i could see from the way you're speaking about me you mentioned my numbers and how many people i attract to my live videos and if we're being for real honey i think maybe you're just you're jealous just say you're jealous or ask me for tips on how to build an audience because as someone who has how many followers do you have five hundred thousand followers your engagement is in the trenches sweetie your engagement is in the trenches so maybe you're, tr you're trying to use me for likes and engagement i can see because there's absolutely no reason for you to be coming at me like i don't know you i don't know you stop keep my name out of your mouth and the, the main reason why i've even come to make this other video is because you keep mentioning my father's name that is so uncalled for leave my father's name out of your mouth address me as ruth ronnie that's the name i've presented here so leave it at that and you saying me answering calls is ne neglecting my audience being rude to my audience i have work excuse me i have work to do okay if someone is on the way here must i not answer the the call Yet, really, you were really just trying to find any sort of issue to pin people against me. And I really, I don't understand why. I don't understand. But, um, yeah, don't talk, to, don't talk to me about how to relate to my audience. I've built my audience by being myself. The people who follow me love me for being me. Run your own page the way you want to run it, okay? Run your own page the way you want to run it mind your business i really just don't know why you're so pressed about me what is it i don't get it i really don't get it and i'm just gonna tell you now if you keep on insulting me this has potential to get really ugly and i don't want to go down that road with anyone okay i don't want to go down that road with anyone don't tell me how to act don't tell me how to react when you you don't even know an ounce of my story and where i'm coming from or i just i really i don't understand i don't understand i don't understand you can't tell me what to share what to post how to react it's none of your business it's none of your business mind your business is all i'm saying find something better to do find something better to do because this is becoming ridiculous you spent a whole 20 minutes just saying a lot of bs that didn't even make sense i don't owe you anything i don't owe anyone anything especially not you i don't owe anyone anything just because i'm a public figure i don't owe anyone anything at all and that's what you that's what you people must learn you can't be that pressed about one one single girl one one girl so you want to you want to jump on the bandwagon of bullying me for clout but that's embarrassing for you especially at your age you you want to be part you're saying you as the what what did you call it online something personality is what he said something about the community of content i don't know if it's content creators or online personalities you're trying to be part of that space right 
but you're coming at the very people that you're supposed to be collaborating with and working with to create a safe space online anyway i guess you know you, you, I, <laughs> you have your own motives and at the end of the day the one thing i tell myself really is that you re you really don't know who's on the other side of the screen for all i know you could be on drugs or maybe you're possessed by the devil who knows so i won't really try to understand you i honestly just thought you'd have more sense than to spew all that stuff that you were saying about me i'm provoked i don't even know who you are like i've never spoken about you i've never interacted with you ever it's very embarrassing I, ho I hope one day you realize how embarrassing you are because it's not a good look i don't know if you're going through a midlife crisis but sweetie maybe just go and buy a sports car like the other old men that are going through a, a midlife crisis coming here to attack the youth is very very embarrassing <laughs> stop stop it stop okay just stop leave me alone that's what i'm going to say because now if this continues it's just going to turn into something else let me let me focus on myself and doing what i do just leave me alone that's all i'm gonna say about that girl <laughs> Chill. this is the list i don't need this right now like i really don't need this right now it's very very unnecessary and uncalled for you by the way you're welcome for the clout that i've given you and the relevance that you're so desperately trying to cling cling on by talking about me that's just just engage with your audience in normal ways and build a relationship with your audience that's all you don't need to start attacking people who are <laughs> young enough to be your child personally i'd be embarrassed like when i'm 53 if i find myself online fighting with someone who's almost 25 years younger than me I would ask myself why I'm doing that. Like, <laughs> girl, no. <laughs> stop. Just stop it. And this is, I know this is exactly what you wanted. You want me to start fighting with you. Everyone wants me to fight with someone. Everyone wants me to fight with someone. They want me to be in a drama. They want me to just let it go let go of all of the narratives that you have in your mind let it go let it go let it go please let it go let it go and i've seen a lot of people here want me to start fighting with mutale Mwanza. i'm not going to do that you're just wasting your energy and time no talk about what she said no address for what i have nothing i have nothing to say about that a lot of people bring up the whole oh you know this that what happened 10 years ago so many people talk about that why would i pick on her in particular because she made a comment about it when you guys even here in the comments you are busy commenting about it i'm not going to go back and address things that happened 10 years ago for what you have to move on in life it's sad that that's you what you guys want to cling on to every piece of whatever you can come across but me i'm not going to do that and like i said i specifically addressed this man because of his 
level of misogyny and how he was encouraging his audience to bully me. It was very uncalled for. He went to make a whole post about me. Eh hey, no, look at her. Eh, <laughs> Let me go, please. Let me just go. And like I said, in my first live, I tried to be very, very respectful of him. But he's pushing my buttons. Don't ever mention my father's name. That's all I'm saying. Don't ever mention my father's name. And this goes, this goes to everyone. <laughs> get you. Get you. Um, and all the people saying that I'm not addressing Mutale because I'm scared. What is she, is she going to kill me if I address her? It's just an, it's an unimportant thing. Stop pushing that. Stop pushing that. You won't you won't push me to start fighting with another woman that's very i don't stand for that i've told you countless times gather gather your facts and i'll remind you once again i don't know if i need to drill this into your fucking ears but my tears were not for her period do you want me to write that and <laughs> Someone, someone made such a funny comment. At <laughs> ah! wait, look at this. <laughs> you guys are so crazy. Tell me why. First of all, guys, let me tell you something. I'm from the Copper Belt, okay? And I don't... I'm also from the Copper Belt. So there's no amount of insults that I'm scared of, no amount of shiny. There's nothing that I'm scared of in this life. Just learn to understand what someone I'm telling you. Ah! Why is my English performing? I said that you understand to what someone I'm telling you. <laughs> Am I that that irritated that I'm failing to speak? At first I said from instead of from and now I say <laughs> Me, that's what I'm telling you. Just let that Mutalimanza issue go. <laughs> I'm not going to fight her, okay? Why she said this it's neither here nor there. For all we know. <laughs> Go ahead, please. <laughs> Guys, listen, stop it, okay? Idea she do let it go. Let's look at the issue at hand here, which is this man. Uh, this big man, I Mr. Think the Sa devil trying to test me. <laughs> the devil trying to test me. Mr. Simon, why is trying to test me? Because I've been the shit for a long time. <laughs> he wants a piece of the relevance. No, guys, <laughs> the devil trying to taste me. <laughs> Can you stop, please? We're in people. <laughs> Let me end this live and go because you guys are you. This is your <laughs> do you know what I hate about this? Let me let me talk about this. Means, let me say. Do you know that you guys are making me act in a way that I never wanted to start acting online? I never wanted to be the person who fights with people online. People, so many people have tried to pick on me for so many years. People are always talking shit about me, okay? 
people pick on me every single day if i show you my filtered comments you'd be shocked because um there's so many nasty things that people come to say about me they're trying to fight me they're trying to blah 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 i never ever pay no mind to that okay i never pay any mind to that so all i'm saying is people have said worse things about me than what mutale said worse things okay do you i've gone as far as getting death threats from people i never came to cry about that so just know that whatever it is that i was crying about is a it's a very very serious matter and like i said i will never ever talk about it let it pass let it pass and now we are straying away from the topic that i came to talk about i came to talk, to talk about uh that man who was busy talking about me that's all i came to talk about and I've, i'm done talking about it so remain debating amongst yourself remain writing articles tagging each other do whatever you want but yeah me i'm just done done with all of that really really done it's not it's not benefiting me in any way and i i don't think i'll even i won't bother to read any comments i won't bother to respond to anyone i'm tired my energy has better places to be used okay and this this is very it's very unnecessary for, especially for me right now please don't forget that i'm also a person with a life excuse me that's going through her own stuff and i will repeat i don't want to fight mutale mwanza i don't i'll never do that i'll never you will never see me fighting with any female celebrity i'll tell you that that one thing you will never ever find me even just on tiktok no not even the tiktokers there's tiktokers that make videos about me a a b c d e f g i just watch them i have responded to a few comments but those are just from like random commenters not people with uh with like how do i put it not f like people in the industry i don't want to start having a, a fight with someone who's in the industry that i'm in the entertainment industry that's not a part of what i stand for especially not a woman but if a man lifts his nonsense mouth to talk about me that's another story especially a man who's very misogynistic towards women i can't stand that and an old man and they're talking about my attractiveness that's disgusting i'm not reading anything i'm literally on watching whatsapp statuses the thing that mr simon told me not to do when i'm on live but that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say okay that's what i'm gonna say the in our industry is too small for us to be having for me personally to be having beefs with mm -mm, our industry is like this let's keep it together okay let's keep it together that's all i'm gonna say about it that's all i'm gonna say about it the points i was reading before are from mr simon's stupid live video where he was talking shit about me and i was done with that and this live has been exceeded the time i allocated for me to be live so that's it thanks for watching bye Okay, bye.